Hi, everyone. Welcome to another version of FAST, Financial Awareness and Self-Transformation with your host, Colleen O'Neill, divorce mediator, consultant, coach, therapist, uh, educator, everything wrapped up into one. Um, and my co-host here, Carolyn Wetzel. Carolyn? Carolyn Wetzel, certified financial planner, private wealth advisor who offers clients peace of mind through financial health and financial self-care. Thanks. And that's what we're after here with FAST, a program Carolyn and I created, which is financial awareness and self-transformation. We did our first video on spending, and we're doing our second one here on savings, the dreaded savings. Where is that money going to come from? Carolyn, what are your thoughts on savings? I want to encourage people to acknowledge whatever initial emotion they have with savings today and recognize that while that emotion exists today, mm -hmm. there is an opportunity to look at savings as a strategic opportunity for you to change your future. So said differently, saving can shift from this obligation or burden to an opportunity to protect and serve you. And if we give ourselves the freedom to reframe what saving does, then we can look to say, all right, well, what's important with savings? The first is to do it. <laughs> the first is wherever you are today, recognize you have worth and you have value. And in the same way you spend on needs, wants, and wishes, save for you. As part of the saving for you, the second thing I would offer is build an emergency savings. Now, how much needs to be in that emergency savings will necessarily look different person to person, family to family. But as a general rule of thumb, I invite people to think of three to six months of their day-to-day -day expenses having in some kind of emergency savings and some kind of cash or cash-like equivalent in an account. Where they have easy access to it in, ca in case they need it. So it's not tied up into some investment or something. It's easy to thing. Right. Yes. So I, I, you know, I know for myself, when I hear the word savings, it's that all dreaded, where am I going to get the money from to save, especially there's so many people, especially in the pandemic and even without the pandemic, but the pandemic has thrust upon us um, dipping into savings. So people who, when we're coming out of the pandemic and we want to kind of rebuild where we had to dip into for the, those emergency purposes, like how do you go about, where's the money coming from? Great question, Colleen. And it will come from different sources for different people. So by way of example, if you are someone that has some kind of additional savings accounts or other sources of readily available money, mm -hmm. consider just moving them over and into a dedicated emergency savings account. For, those, for other people who may not have that available, think in this moment, where are your sources of income today? No matter how much comes into your possession every two weeks or every month, begin to look at what's coming into your control and start to very intentionally consider at least a percent of that coming into your control is now automatically earmarked or dedicated to that emergency savings. And in fact, some people find the easiest way to make that shift in that mind shift is to literally set up automatic savings from their paycheck into this savings account. And so percentage can be just start somewhere. Like it could be 1%, 3%, 9%, 5%, 10%, whatever. Just start somewhere. What I noticed for myself during uh, COVID, obviously, because you're homebound, especially, you know, in the beginning of it last year, but... I wasn't going to Starbucks. I wasn't going to get my lattes, my special turmeric latte somewhere, at, or you know, just running out and grabbing lunch or this or that. And so, what I've had to be mindful as I've gotten a little back out there again, or in my office a little more, is not going back to old habits because that really did save me money by being home and not just running out and grabbing a latte or whatever, doing whatever, or happy hours, 
all those little things. So, you know, socializing that adds up, but I, I have to really be mindful of reminding myself not to fall back into those old patterns where I was just spending without really thinking too much, which then didn't allow me to have the emergency fund I would have liked, but building it back up, I have to be mindful to keep contributing to it and not keep contributing to Starbucks. <laughs> Love everything about that. Everything about that. You, by sharing that own experience, Colleen, you've reinforced our relationship with our finances is dynamic. As circumstances change, when and how we tap into our finances will change. And when we need to tap into emergency savings, it is there for that reason for us to tap into it. Then we adjust behaviors, we accommodate, we replenish, and we uh, continuously adopt new choices and new behaviors to best set us up for success over time. And everything about else that. with COVID, it really has shown us that emergencies do happen. You know, yes. many of us have lived in this life long enough to have not been in those situations where like my parents were in the depression and things like that. Like most of us haven't lived through anything until this point, which makes you really realize we need a savings account that yes. we can just grab that cash and take care of our business. Right. And so I think this is a great plate stopping point, Carolyn, where we're saying you can save even given COVID or without COVID but be mindful of start somewhere. Any savings is a good savings, start somewhere. And be more mindful not to jump back into old habit, old spending habits that didn't allow us to have a savings to begin with. Exactly, exactly. Well, thanks everybody for another uh, really great conversation around our finances and our mental health and well-being. Um, so join us in our series, FAST, Financial Awareness and Self-Transformation with Colleen O'Neill and Carolyn Wetzel. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Please sign in below, subscribe below. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them for us. Thanks so much. Thank you.